God shows the people that in these last days they have to repent and they have to keep God's commandments. All right? So do that answer your question? All right, you got another question? All right, all praise. Nigga to come outside, 
right? We gonna be on the block, and we gonna wait till 10 o'clock, and we gonna dress up in all black, and then we come outside, we gonna shoot them down, right? When it comes to robbing their own people and selling drugs to their own people, then our people rob, but we don't. But to do good, but to do what? But to do good. And what is doing good? Doing good is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Being righteous, loving your own people, right? You know? They have no knowledge. They have no what? They, they have, have no knowledge. knowledge. But when it comes to keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, our people have no knowledge, right? So that's why we came out here on these streets to give our people the knowledge on how to serve the Lord, right? Give our people the knowledge on how to repent, to give our people the knowledge on how to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Right? So let me get the book of uh, Judas, chapter 5, verse 17. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 15. Right. Be not ignorant. Be not what? Be, be not, not ignorant. ignorant. Be not what? Be, be not, not ignorant. ignorant. And the Lord said, be not ignorant. What does it mean to be ignorant? That means you don't know something, right? The Lord said, be not ignorant. Our people are ignorant in these last days, right? Our people don't know their true heritage. Our people don't know their true language. Our people don't know where they come from. Right. Right? Our people are ignorant, right? Right? If our people had knowledge, they will know that celebrating these certain holidays goes into the worshiping of other gods. Right. Right? Celebrating Thanksgiving goes into the, the murder of your own people. Right? So the Lord said his people are ignorant. Right? You gotta be ignorant to call yourself a color out of crayon box. Right? You gotta be ignorant to call yourself a property of Spain. Right. Right? Our people are ignorant. That's why we came out here to teach our people. Right? We don't. Be not ignorant of anything right. in a great matter or a small. In a great matter or a small, man. So our people have to come over here and get this wisdom, right? Because we ain't going to be out here on these streets forever, right? The family of the word is coming, right? They're trying to shut down the service of the Lord on every street corner, right? So our people have to come and get this wisdom, right? The Lord said don't be ignorant in anything in a great matter or a small. But our people are ignorant. They don't know that we living in the last days, right? They don't know that death and destruction is coming upon the people that break these commandments, right? That was it on that? Oh. All right, let me get uh, Judah. You got that Judah 5 verse 17? No, no, no. All right, let me get the book of Hosea chapter 5 verse 16. Let me get Hosea 5 verse 16, Judah. Bring out what you got for Judah 5 verse 17. This is the book of Judah chapter 5 verse 17. So we're going to show our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, why it's so important that you repent and come back to God's commandments, right? Read that. And whilst they sin not before their God. So the Lord said, while they sin not before their God, what is sin? Right, the brother uh, Ephraim brought it out earlier, right, First John 3 and 4. Sin is the breaking and the transgression of God's commandments. Right. So the Lord said, when we didn't sin, when we didn't break his commandments, what happened? They prospered. They did what? They, they prospered. And the Lord said, when we didn't break his commandments, we prospered as a nation, right? And when you look at the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in today's world, do we prosper as a people? Uh -huh. Why are we living at the bottom, right? When you look at the statistics, what group of people lead in poverty, right? What group of people lead in abortion, right? What group of people lead in STDs, right? That's our people, right? We're not prospering as a people. We murdering each other, right? We're selling drugs to each other, right? We're not taking care of our children. We're not taking care of our families. When we look at all these other nations, they prosper, mm. right? Ain't the so-called Arab man prospering in America? Mm. Right. Don't he own his own gas station? Yep. Don't he got his own corner stores? Yep. Right? Don't the so-called Asians got their own businesses? Right. Yep. Right? Don't the so-called white man own everything in this country yep. that he stole from our people? Yep. Right? So all these other nations prosper, but our people living at the bottom. Why our people don't know where their next meal gonna come from. Right. Right. So the Lord said, when we didn't sin, that's how we prosper. So if you want to prosper as a so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American, you have to repent and come back to these commandments. Come. Right. You know. And whilst they sin not before their God, they prosper. Right. Because the God that hated iniquity. Because the what? Because the God that, that hated hateth iniquity. iniquity. So according to the Bible, the Most High God hates iniquity. Right. Right. But in the church, they tell you that God loved everybody. Right. 
they tell you that, oh, God know my heart. No, the Lord says he hates iniquity, right? He hates those of his people that partake in homosexuality, right? Right. He hates those of his people that partake in fornication, right? Right. He hates those of his people that partake in the worshiping of other gods. Bring it out. Right. We don't need because the God that hated iniquity right. was with them. Was what? Was with them. So the Lord said when we don't break his commandments, that's how you go to win us as a nation. <laughs> but when you look at our people, the Lord is not with our people. If the Lord was with our people, you wouldn't have over uh, hundreds and hundreds of murders in the city of Chicago. Right. 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 You wouldn't have black on black violence in the city of Detroit, in the city of Baltimore. Right. right. So the Lord is not with our people. Right. You know. Verse 18, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them. Right, so the Lord said we departed from the way which he appointed us, right? How do we do that? By worshiping idols, right? Celebrating Thanksgiving, a custom that was never a part of our heritage, right? And hey, y'all brothers got a minute for the words of the Lord. Y'all believe in the Bible? Oh, y'all right, got two minutes? All right, now. <laughs> I can't read it. We obeyed not his voice. We did what? We obeyed not, not his, his voice. voice. Like I said, you know that's talking about our people. Because our people don't want to obey the Lord's voice. Right? We do. We do want to obey. Who, we hold on, who, life, though. who is we? We. The people that respect God, though. Okay. I respect God since I was a kid, though. But I want to live my life, though, like I want to live, though. You know what God. I mean? I want to okay. smoke weed. I want to do what I want to do. I, Straight from the ground up. And you know, you know what's crazy about that? I'm That's sorry, good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you can do whatever you want to do. You know I'm why? Sorry. Cause this not for you. Right. Right. No, no. I believe in the gospel and everything that comes with it. Who is the know? gospel? Who is the gospel for? It's God, it? right? Who is the gospel? It's for? God. It's 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 Come Jehovah. Here, to the witness. Here, the witness. Here, right. Here, right? It's Jehovah. It's Jehovah. It's the witness. Right. right. Okay. Right there. Right there. Right there. Let me ask you a question. Who is God's people in the Bible? Who is the gospel for? I'm saying, who, God chose, hold on, everybody, so, hold on, no, I'm saying, hold on, listen, 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 me, God has a chosen race of people in the Bible, who is God's chosen race of people, no, it's not about a cut, I didn't ask about a cut, I said, what was it about, no, it's not about a it's about race, because color, color, and race don't go together, because look, 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 let me say something real quick. Don't you got Arabs as my color? Don't you got uh, Indians as my color? So it's not about color, it's about race. Let me get your will 227. Let me get your will 227. So God has a chosen people in the Bible, right? Wicked feet with no man pursue it. Right. See? Look, 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 look. Right. Yeah. 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 look, look. <laughs> I believe in the gospel, man. Let's just hey, work together, man. You, together. Hey, you know what this is? You know what this is? You believe? I know you think all Let this is together. Let me get Isaiah 14, 21. No, it's all good. I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Right. But it's togetherness, man. Togetherness. That's what we got <laughs> to be together. We're together when your people put my people in slavery. My people. Right. My we people. When your people have my people in my the cotton field. My people, together, me, 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 your people tie me, us, our people to a tree me, and whip down backs. Me, right? Me, yeah, your people did that. Me, right? your people. Who made fifty thousand my whole life? Your people. Don't talk to me like that, bro. Your people don't talk to me like don't that, bro. Fifty thousand my whole life. Fifty thousand my whole life. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Right. Let me get. Let me get that. Man, y'all are crazy. The book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. Yes, man. Respect what you have, man. Prepare slaughter. Respect what you have. Prepare slaughter. Thank you. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. What happened to Mr. Paleface? Prepare slaughter. But you need to get out and separate from your damn enemy. Right. That's your slave master. That's your oppression. That's the man that raped, robbed, and murdered your people. Read that. Prepare slaughter for his children. We gonna prepare slaughter for his children. We gonna prepare slaughter. For the so-called white man, woman, and child. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. That. Prepare slaughter for his children. So all these pale-faced bastards gonna be slaughtered according to the Bible. Right? We don't give a damn about the so-called white man. Right? We don't give a damn about all these other nations. Right. All these other nations will be in the cotton field. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. Read that. Prepare slaughter for his children. Right? For the iniquity of their fathers. The Lord said we're gonna have to prepare slaughter for these other nations. Right? 
Why you sitting there crying? He sitting there weeping, talking about, oh, what you, I didn't do that, right? What you talking about, me? Me, I didn't do nothing. No, but your people did, right? And the Lord said, you gonna have to pay for what your people did. You gonna have to pay for what your forefathers did, right. according to this Bible. Right. Read. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, right? nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right, so in these last days, the so-called white man and his kingdom has to get put to an end for the kingdom of our nation to be established, right? Because the things that's promoted in this nation is not going to be promoted in the kingdom of heaven, yeah. right? In the kingdom of heaven, it ain't going to be no damn homosexuals, right? It ain't going to be no damn lesbians, right? It ain't going to be no damn pedophilia. It ain't going to be no damn bestiality, uh -huh. right? In our kingdom, it's going to be righteousness, and it's going to be so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans ruling and governing this earth. That's right! right. I got a couple more, we gonna close it up. Come. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 15. Bring it out! And now, O Yahweh, our power that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and has gotten thee renowned, and at this day we have sinned. We have what? We, we have, have sinned. sinned. We have what? We, we have, have sinned. sinned. Our people have sinned, man. That's why the Lord allowing a weak ass white man to rule over our people, right? Talking about, don't talk to me like that. We gonna talk to you how the hell we wanna talk to right. you. Right. The Lord said a dog should have moved his tongue against the children of Israel. Right. Right, right? We gonna call you the damn devil. We gonna call you the damn bastard that you are, right? And then the damn thing that you gonna do about it. Right, read that. We have sinned. We have done wicked. We have did what? We have done wicked. A lot of people have done wicked, man. Right? You got that cool ass Jake, right? Wanna walk hand in hand with his damn enemy. Right? Well, Don't worry, Master. Yeah. Let me let, let them niggas crazy, Master. Let's go up the street, Master. Don't listen to them niggas, Master. I got you, Master. You want me to rub your back, Master? Right? You want me to give you a foot rub, Master? Right. Right? You wanna put your, your feet on my back, Master? Man. Right? That's the monster that is a so-called black man. Yeah. Right? He just want to be a step in the picture that's cool for his damn enemy. Right. Right? Read what you got in uh, Esther 14. Son, it's the book of Editions of Esther. Let me get Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. This is Esther chapter 14, verse 6. Bring it out. And now we have sinned before thee. We have did what? And now we, we have sinned, sinned before, before thee. thee. Like we said, sin is the, is the breaking of God's commandments. Right? The so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, we have broken God's commandments. Read. Now we have sinned before thee. Therefore has thou given us into the hands of our enemies. So the Lord has given his people into the hands of our enemies, man. Right? That's why all these other nations rule over us, right? That's why all these other nations have secret councils on how to further destroy our people. Right. Read. Verse 7. Because we worship their gods. Because we did what? Because we, we worship their gods. We celebrate Thanksgiving. We worship their gods. We celebrate Halloween. We worship their gods. What about uh, Christmas? We, we worship their gods. gods. What about New Year's? We, we worship, worship their, their gods. gods. The Lord said he had delivered us into the hands of our enemies because we continue to worship after their gods. Right. Read. Oh Lord, thou art righteous. Right. Nevertheless, it satisfies them not that we are in a bitter captivity. Right, and it satisfies our enemies not that we are in bitter captivity. That's why the Lord said in the book of Zechariah, right, he said, I am sore displeased with the heathen because they bore our affliction. Right? They continue to destroy our people. They claim that they feel sorry, but they still haven't given back the land that they stole from our people. Right? We don't. We are in bitter captivity. We are what? We are in bitter captivity. Right, and our people just don't understand that even in today, 2023, we are still in bitter captivity. Right. Right? right? That's why we living in the ghetto. Right? That's why all these other nations rule over us. Right? That's why all these other nations have their businesses and their establishments in our neighborhoods, in our communities. Right? We don't. But they have stricken hands with their idols. Right, that was it on that. Right, read what you got. And let me get Proverbs 8 and 1, and I'm going to close it up with that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Bring it out. 
Surely oppression. Surely what? Surely oppression. Surely what? Surely oppression. The Lord says, surely oppression. Read. Make Maketh a wise man mad. Man. In, the, in, the, in these last days, you can tell a lot of our people are not wise. The first question we brought out, Jeremiah 422, the Lord said, my people are foolish. Right? Because our people love being oppressed. Our people love being uh, 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 and, uh, under these other nations. Right? They're ruled by these other nations. Right. right? He, Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. So surely oppression make it a wise man mad. So you are not mad about the oppression of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are not wise according to the Bible. Right. You are a fool according to the Bible. Right, read. And a gift destroys the heart. And that's why our people destroyed because the so-called white man gave our people gifts. Right? He gave you a job. Right? He gave you a paycheck. He gave you Juneteenth. He gave you Black History Month. And now our people happy. Now our people satisfied of uh, being in this wicked nation. Right? We don't. Verse 8. Better is the end of a thing 